<laughs> Entrepreneurs, welcome to today's lesson. We're digging into the first lesson of trade unions. Now, today we're going to learn all about what's the function, why they do it, where they come from. So make sure you um, listen up, make your notes, hit like, subscribe, share it far and wide. So trade unions, they play a very important role in our day in society. They are the mediators between a business the owners and the workers. Remember in a business, we've done in business sectors a few years ago, we've done business sectors, right? Where you have the workers, we have the business owner, they all play a different role in getting the final product. But now this relationship between the owner and the employer is quite, employee is quite important. So this is where trade unions comes in. They play this massive role. And it started in South Africa in 80, 1880. It's quite interesting, eh? Now, the political and economic effect had, a, or it had a very big effect on the development in our country based on the politics and economics of it. People were not treated fairly. They weren't pay, paid a fair salary. And it was all um, on socioeconomic issues, right? And a lot politically driven. But people were not treated fairly. And this is where trade unions really started. So the concept of trade unions is trade means this is where people of the same trade come together. Now, trade means it's your skill, your artisan, right? And union is where they come together with a common set of skills or crafts. So trade union is a group of employees from one specific industry. There's different trade unions, but they represent one industry. Um, and the way they come together and they need to regulate or control the relationships between employers and employees. So they're this third man that acts on behalf of the employee when the employee feels powerless to speak. So trade union, they link closely with the Labor Relations Act that regulates this relationship between employer and employee. So where does trade union come from? It comes from a, a medieval times where people were not treated well, and this was in guilds. They were treated as slaves. They had to do manual labor with little to no payment. So basically, it is a disagreement between employers and employees. And this stems from the slavery of the guilds. So it started in Europe in the 1700s with the Industrial Revolution. And there was, there was big movements from people moving from farms. They don't want to be self-sustainable anymore. They want to go to find jobs. And they wanted to make money and start to earn a better life for themselves. But because of the influx of labor, there wasn't a lot of work, uh, or uh, work available. There was too much labor. So if we think about demand and supply where there's too much, then suddenly the, um, the demand for it grows little and therefore the prices can drop as well and people are willing to work for a little. So they lived in poor conditions with overcrowded malnutrition. They got the sick quickly. Um, they were not living in, 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 in good circumstances. So they also had no one to fight for them and trade unions was banned because people thought it was a threat and they felt threatened and they would lose control. So when um, trade unions eventually started in 1818 in South Africa, um, people actually started to be empowered. And in 1922, this is where the Rand Rebellion started, where they started um, going against mining companies that said, let's not exploit any people group, but let's actually focus to pay people fair wages. All right? So they started to do unions. So in 1948, the National Party implemented apartheid, and that was where discrimination was really hit on the head. But since 1994, with our democratically um, um, elected party, they took over and then trade unions became an open situation where everyone can join. Now, one of the biggest trade unions is Kusatu, um, and they're aligned with the ANC and SAPC to um, form the tripartite alliance and to make sure that the people's voice are heard and to protect them. So what's the roles, the function of a trade union? They need to represent the workers. What's their rights? If a worker has to work eight hours, let's not exploit it. What's the minimum wage? That's why you will hear that's in the news every single day. They'll advise them on labor relations. They'll do collective bargaining. That means when they negotiate, they go negotiate on behalf of the people. They'll always say, we the collective. That means it's us. It's not one person, it's us. And that brings power to the bargaining table. And they have to represent employees when there's disciplinary situations so that they are represented fairly. So you'd hear the word 
fairly. You would have heard the word humane. You would understand by now that trade unions need to make sure that people are treated fairly with respect, dignity. All right. So people can join a labor um, action in any industry. Now, what's the rights of trade unions? They will negotiate on behalf of workers. They will visit with the, on the workplace to meet with the members. They'll ask them to um, pay membership fees because that's their full-time job. Um, they will elect union representatives in the workforce so that they can be a, a voice or a communicating device. And they'll give information for collective bargaining to the people. And they can arrange um, strikes, which must be legal, which is called protected strike. But remember, no work, no pay. All right. And um, a last part of this trade unions, they must ascribe to a few things. Before they can become a trade union, they need to be registered. It's like a business. You need to be registered with the registrar of trade unions. They must write a constitution. And the constitution must say there must be no discrimination based on any gender, race, anything. It's also a non-profit body. And they must inform people on how the money is used. So make sure you watch the next video where we're going to dive a bit deeper into trade unions. See you next time.